So this is the second problem and we are going to solve this problem now. Read the question at first. It is a 80 litre vessel. So 80 litre vessel contain 4 kg of refrigerant 134A and the pressure is 160 kVA. We need to determine the temperature, we need to determine the quality, enthalpy and the volume which is occupied by the vapor phase. So here, if you look at this uh, figure, actually, you can see uh, the mass of this refrigerant, you know, the, the 134A. So it's 4 kg, pressure is this, and it is 80 liter vessel. We can see this is actually the pressure, this horizontal axis, this is actually the volume, and we can see the corresponding values like the, the you know the specific volume for liquid, a specific volume for vapor, this is the you know the enthalpy, this is the corresponding enthalpy. And so we know everything from here. So actually um, it is for constant pressure, right? So it is constant pressure and the, the this basal it is filled with this refrigerant one three four A. So we need to know the properties, the table um, which is related to the refrigerant 134A. So I'll show you later on. So the major um, challenge here, when we will start solving this problem, the key question is, we do not know, okay, we do not know actually uh, whether uh, this is in compressed fluid, this system, it is, like see, this vessel, it contains 4 kg refrigerant 134, so we do not know whether it is superheated vapor or compressed fluid or the saturated mixture reason. So we need to calculate that. We need to calculate uh, from the, you know, this all of this given condition. So if we compare it for a suitable property calculations, especially for the saturated liquid and saturated vapor valves what given here, then we can tell whether it is in superheated vapor or you know saturated liquid or the you know, saturated mixture state so what we will do i'm telling again we don't know what it is the state so we will calculate the specific volume at first so the specific volume you know the specific volume formula from uh, previous you know when we discussed previously the theories we know the specific volume formula it is uh, you know the P equal the total volume over mass. Okay, B it is the total volume. This is the mass. So here, actually, uh, we know the the vessel is eighty liter. There's the total volume here. So if we convert it into meter cube, so it will be zero point zero eight zero meter cube, and the mass uh, it is actually given you know the four kg, four kg. So um, we will get this 0 0.02 meter cube per kg. So this is the V, the specific volume. Now we know the specific volume. And for 160, 160 you kPa, know, so let's look, this is actually the table uh, for, mm, you know, 134, refrigerant 134 for pressure table. So um, what we found from this uh, question, the pressure is 160. So you see, this is the pressure. So pressure is 160. 160 pressure, we know the PA, that means the saturated liquid volume and the vapor volume. This is a specific volume. We know this. And fortunately, uh, actually in this question, it is given here. PF and VG. So we know VF is given 0 0.00074535 and VG it is given 0 0.12355 and we calculated the specific volume is 0 0.02. So clearly here this specific volume VG you see it is it is in between these two value kind of you know VF it is less than this V, less than this Vg, okay? So this is the case. So that means this specific volume, it is in between this saturated 
liquid and saturated vapor. So, which means our system, okay, it is actually, you know, in the saturated mixture region. So, we can write it is saturated mixture region. Okay. So, this is saturated mixture region. So, now you see how we calculated. We calculated the specific volume at first and we know the specific volume of the liquid and the vapor and we found this value is in between these two. So, that means it is saturated mixture region and we can say that means the temperature must be the saturation temperature for this specific pressure and you see here, you see here for, for 160 kPa pressure we got the saturation temperature is negative 15.60. So, the first question was it asked the first question it asked the temperature. So, we can write for first part um, we can write it like this the temperature T it will be the actually the saturated temperature at 160 kPa pressure which is negative 15.60 degree Celsius. So, this is the first part of this problem. Now, if we look at the second part of this problem, you see guys second part is we need to calculate the quality. So, we know the formula how we can calculate this quality and we know quality equal x. We derived this formula actually previously. It is the specific volume over the specific volume of the you know the saturated liquid by the specific volume of this Fg because we have the saturation mixture state. So, if you go back to the previous videos then you will see we drive this and it is actually you will get it from your book this expression. So, now here um, we can write x equal you know, the volume this specific volume you know point zero two we calculated and we know this we need to calculate this one. So, we can write it is uh, 0 0.02 and this VF is 0 0.0007435. This VFG it is actually the difference of this specific volume of the saturated vapor and the saturated liquid which is we can write 0 0.02 0 0.0007435 over uh, Vz is 0.12355 it is you see it is given in the in the picture in the question we have and it is 0 0.0007435 so we will get um, this value is 0 0.157 so this is actually the x which is the quality that means this is the second part of this problem now we will calculate we will calculate the third part of this problem so the third part is we need to calculate the enthalpy okay so for enthalpy you look guys we know uh, the enthalpy um, actually high say for liquid is this and for you know the vapor is this you can if it is not given in the question you can get it from the table you see this is the enthalpy so the corresponding values will be here okay and that values it is actually given here so we know this values and now we if you can remember uh, in our last videos we derived and when we calculated when we just derived all the mathematical calculations then we had a um, a general expression kind of y equal you know the y f plus x and y f g it was a general expression so in instead of y we can put y it is equal the you know the volume enthalpy we can um, say this is you know the eo that means that energy so here we need uh, for question c that, that means the third part of this question is we need to calculate the enthalpy so when we will calculate the enthalpy then we need to use h so we can say this equation will be h is equal h is f and x h is f g all right so um, 
a7 and a5 g we know from the table so we'll substitute all the values here so it is 3118 and it is kilojoule per kg plus x equal 0 0.157 into this value is 209.96 okay 96 kilojoule per kg so i'm not writing that unit here so it is 61 4.1 kilojoule per kg so this is actually haze we got the enthalpy so we calculated the values for enthalpy right so now the last part of this question if you see we need to calculate the volume the volume occupied by the vapor phase right so this is the last section of this problem so we know from the formula that uh, the volume um, volume occupied by the vapor phase we can write you know um, the VG VG it is equal the mass okay mg and the specific volume we know this total volume occupied it is the mass and the specific volume right so that means we know the specific volume but what we don't know is the mass so we need to calculate the mass how we can calculate so you see this mass it is unknown so we can calculate the mass from the definition of the quality you know quality the general definition is m g m n t so that means m g it will be x into m t x we calculated the quality 0 0.157 and m t the total mass is 4 kg so m g it will be 0 0.628 kg so this is we got m g once we have this m g guys we will just put this value here in equation a so so the volume will be we can write v g it is equal m g and the specific volume so mass is 0 0.628 and the volume uh, you know 0 0.12 355 so um, if we multiply this then it will be 0 0.0776 meter cube if you want you can convert it into liter so then it will be 77.6 liter we just to convert it into liter you need to just divide 0 0.0776 over you know 1000 that's it so <coughs> What we did here, we calculated um, the volume that is occupied by the vapor. You see, G means vapor. We define it is G is vapor and L is liquid. So that's actually the solutions of this problem. So to solve this question, um, you actually need the the property table for refrigerant one three four. I have added that on here in this uh, solution. So that's it and we'll discuss this question again during the lecture.